Kellen Mond looks right, goes over the middle, touchdown Aggies. Kellen keeps Kellen inside the 10, to the 5, touchdown Kellen Mond from 15 yards out. Mond will go end zone, Rodgers, got it, touchdown. A lot of room if he wants to run, touchdown Kellen Mond. Fakes it, throws it, Palmer, touchdown. Mond throws to the corner, man's there and he's got it. Kellen Mond hangs in and gets the touchdown it's pass. It. His list of accomplishments is pretty damn impressive. Kellen Mond pretty much holds every single Texas A&M record. And not only was he the Texas Bowl MVP, that's nice, but he was the Reese's Senior Bowl MVP, which is even more impressive. Because what he did is he went to Mobile and he put on a show and he proved it. Practice was one thing, but game day is something else. Kellen Mond joins us now on NFL. Now, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. I appreciate you for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. Let's go back to Mobile. How big was that for you? Not just practice, but game day as well. Uh, it was huge for me. And I think really just having the opportunity to, you know, one, playing a game where it's live, where you can be hit and, you know, really just be able to still play fast and um, really just execute an offense that you just learned, you know, pretty much that week before. So, um, it was an amazing opportunity for me, and I definitely, you know, helped my stock. You definitely helped your stock as well, but the list of accomplishments and the stats, I mean, look, Kellen, coming out of school, you were, you were coming out of high school, that is, the number one dual-threat quarterback in, 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 in the high school ranks here. Why do you think you needed to prove your worth so much? Uh, you know, I think just one, going back to, you know, my freshman, sophomore year, and you know, I think there was a huge stigma of, you know, me being, you know, so-called inconsistent and, you know, uh, you know, I'll be lying if I said that I wasn't, but I think that, um, you know, my growth each and every year and, you know, just really won by my numbers. But, you know, I think if you cut on the tape and, you know, I really think yeah, um, you're able to see my growth. So, um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm not a finished product, but, you know, um, my value is definitely at a, a super high level and, you know, I'm, I'm excited at where I'm at right now. You're not a finished product, but the, the I, no quarterback is heading into the draft, regardless of whether they go pick one, two, three, or in, in later rounds here as well. And I love what you did at your pro day. So most of these quarterbacks, for those who don't know, we've talked about it, have their, their quarterback tutors, if you will, right? They go to these quarterback camps <laughs> as they get ready for the draft. You're not, and not only that, you basically ran your pro day, Kellen, by figuring out and watching tape, NFL tape, what scouts wanted. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that was big for me. One, to show my leadership, but also, you know, I think truly if I'm going to be my my own biggest self-critic um, and just really being self-aware of, you know, what I need to work on, but also, you know, certain feedback on things that I need to improve on, you know, I think it's best that I construct my own pro day. Um, in that manner. And, you know, that's exactly what I wanted to do and, you know, really push the ball down the field, um, you know, as you're able to see on the pro day. And, you know, that was something that was huge for me. Um, you know, like you said, a lot of guys have their quarterback tutors, um, you know, the guys who construct the pro day and get everybody in line and tell everybody what route they have. But, you know, I think if, you know, the quarterback at the next level is going to be the leader on the field, then, you know, why not start that at, you know, at your pro day and, you know, make sure everybody, you know, receivers, running backs and tight ends are all in line. And, you know, so I think that one showed, you know, my football IQ, but also showed the type of leadership skills that I have. What kind of feedback do you get? Um, I mean, truly amazing feedback. And uh, I think just the one word um, that, you know, I've been getting is, you know, wow and impressive. And, you know, I think, you know, one of the biggest things and, you know, reasons why I wanted to, you know, one, be able to have a combine this year, but also my pro day is, you know, for guys and coaches and everybody to be able to see me throw in person, you know, uh, I think that it, it doesn't do its full justice, um, you know, when you watch me on film and, you know, but I think whenever you're able to see me throw in person, I think it's a it's it's truly special. And, you know, that's the feedback that I've been getting. Yeah, I, I was talking to somebody who evaluates about a month ago and just unsolicited out of nowhere they go. And tell you what, Kellen Mond, the more you put on the tape, uh, the more you realize we should probably go get this guy and that what the world thinks or where the world thinks he should go, it, it probably should be higher. I, I, You know, back at the Senior mm -hmm. Bowl and back when we see the way you, we see your, your, your everything going up here, um, it reminds me of Dak Prescott a little bit because he, too, was the MVP at the Senior Bowl. He went in the fourth mm -hmm. round. You're from San Antonio. Are you a Cowboys fan? 
no, I was. I never grew up a Cowboys fan. Uh, <laughs> I figured I, there'd I really be a fair a t- link there. <laughs> no, nah, I, I never really had a team growing up. My favorite player was Andre Johnson for some reason. Uh, not, not sure how bad. it became a not receiver, a but uh, but I mean, now I've, I've never had favorite teams, more favorite players. Well, let's talk about growing up here because your dad, Kevin, put a football in your hand at what, like two days old or something? I mean, you're throwing from your knees as a little kid. Football has been your future from day one, practically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's been huge. And, you know, my dad still tells stories of uh, me throwing the football at the age of two. And, you know, there's a story that kind of floating around. And, you know, a lot of people don't think that is true, but. Um, so I have certain blinds in my house, and uh, I guess when I was younger, I damaged them. And uh, as they become damaged and more and more, uh, my dad said he wouldn't replace them until I get drafted to the NFL. And um, so come April true? 29th. Huh? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, okay. they're, they're damaged. <laughs> but coming April, come April 29th, uh, you know, when the draft starts, you know, those blinds will be coming down. Well, good, and you get paid for those blinds, and some team is going to write you a check. He played well against Bama and LSU and Clemson. Uh, he's going to play well at the next level as well. The Senior Bowl should be proof of that. Kellen Mon, good luck to you on your draft journey. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.